Hello YouTube, my name has changed. I am now officially a shot of whiskey, formerly Tessa Fowler for wife. So it's been an interesting couple of weeks for me here in the real world, and I apologize for a good chunk of it. Part of it is figuring out what the fuck am I going to talk about, as well as some weird stuff going on with work. But for now, let's go ahead and focus on this video. Was not really planning on my first video as a shot of whiskey being a mirror, but, well, it's a mirror. Uh, it's for Run and Guns Review. Uh, he has this 21, 22 minute long video talking about a group called Heart Progress. If you haven't heard of either, I would definitely recommend continuing on and watching this video. Um, and I, I promise the next one that I do is going to be more of me and more of me talking about some thing i don't know yet like i said there's a few things that i'm boggling back and forth so anyways let's go on with the video what you're about to watch something that's been going on for the last six plus months a war of sorts on social media. It has been fought on YouTube, Twitter, Google+, and a little bit on Minds.com. We've been fighting against a very evil group. No, I don't mean the KKK or the Westboro Baptist Church. Those are both very bad groups. Unfortunately, they're not the evil I'm referring to today. Today, I'm referring to a group of people who hide behind equality. Some very disgusting people. These people want to hurt children for their own sexual needs. In case you haven't figured it out, I'm talking about a pedophile group trying to normalize pedophilia, also known as child molesters. They don't want to seek treatment. In fact, they laugh at the pedophiles who want treatment. I'm talking about a subhuman group known as Part Progress. He told me it was our little secret, <laughs> but it hurts. <laughs> <laughs> this video is going to be really difficult to get through, so please bear with me. I made a video in February. It was titled, So You Want to Make Pedosexuality a Thing. The reason for this is because I found a picture on the internet of apparently some group, which I wasn't really aware of the name, was trying to either attach itself to the LGBT community or try to destroy it from within. I really wasn't sure which direction it was going in. Some people were horrified by what I had found. Some people assumed trolls and said the video was pointless to make. After it was done, I left it alone until Heart Progress attacked. I didn't know who these people were or why they felt the need to attack or come after my video. After a bit of digging, I was slightly shocked. It was a group of people hidden behind fake names and pictures running a group trying to make pedophilia acceptable instead of seeking treatment for their obvious problem. They're trying to make it socially acceptable to have sex with children. Yes, children. They don't care the mental or physical harm this causes. I was attacked by some idiot named Jenny Lover who has since deleted his comments. He used to go by Daniel Gaither. It was a dumbass who used his real picture. I was attacked by James Carter, also known as Ernest Steiner. Yes, they're the same person. I'll get to that in a minute. They threatened with false flagging. They claimed to have made a video destroying everything I've said. That was a massive lie. They've continued to harass and attempt to bully everybody who speaks out 
against them. Here are more lies and manipulations from our pedophile buddies and our progress. Here's Bert Saxby, a brand new fake account that recently popped up and decided to attack my videos. Here's what he has to say. Our progress has never been stronger. We recruited over 2,500 members in May and June. Amazing Bert, or should we call you James or Ernest? I'm not sure at this point. It takes a massive fucking dedication to create 2,500 fake accounts. Seriously, kudos to that. That must have been a lot of fucking typing. And since I pissed Albert off, hey, running guns news. Why don't you do something useful with your life and use your gun to blow your worthless, bigoted head off your body? I don't think my gun would actually remove my complete head. Sorry, I don't have a caliber that big. But it's nice to know I pissed you off that badly. Oh, and this wasn't even on my channel. There's a channel out there called... Oh, crap. What is it? Oh, yeah. The Devil is Coming for You. Now, I watched some of the comments, and apparently this dude... Jack Thompson, as always said out real name, got the shit embarrassed out of him. So he finally decided with the death threats, saying he really wished he could kill the devil. In fact, his first threat said he wants to stab the dude in the neck with a knife. I'm sorry, buddy. As you point out, this is America. That shit will get you shot. Now if I can find the original, eh, screw it, I'll get to that in a minute. There is James Carter full of shit again. I have made the personal decision to leave Minds.com due to the unre unregulated hate it allows on its site. Yes, the same free speech that allows you to talk about pedophilia. Although, although they did allow me to freely speak my mind. He still allowed hate speech, which is in no way should fall under the umbrella of free speech. Sorry, Supreme Court disagrees with you. It ranges from, and he just buzzwords everybody to death. It was painful, it was a painful decision for me to leave the countless followers that I gained. Oh really? Countless followers? I'm sorry that you're unable to count to 23. That's really embarrassing. Now, another thing. It actually did happen where James proved to us that him and Ernest were exact were actually the same person. I was on a live stream with some friends and we banned his ass from the live chat. Seconds later, Ernest comes busting in. James sent me here telling you that it's a fake account pretending to be me. We knew it was him. And the best part about this, when I confronted blank bitch, blank space, whatever you want to call him, I said, we also know that James and Ernest account are run by the same person. He done fucked up. And then blank boy, who's gonna get his Heart Progress membership card revoked it, ooh, like that wasn't obvious. So he made it very clear that Ernest and James are the same person. What's even better is when, no, I'm not sure if I'm gonna screw up her name, I apologize if I did, Miss Osa Bear actually confronted James with this. He got stupid and decided to claim that me and her, despite her being a female, me being a male, both of us having our own channels, both of us being on camera, he claimed that we that she just admitted to him that we're the same person. How stupid do you have to honestly be? God, you people are embarrassing.
Okay, here's what I have to ask of people, and this is very difficult. One, I need you to mirror this video because these pedophiles heavily believe in censorship. They cannot stand free speech. If you speak against them, they consider it hate speech just because they have no other argument. Why well, I need the mirror I need the video mirrored too. We're gonna need people to create fake accounts and sub to these pedophile accounts. Not to watch their videos. God no, I wouldn't put that on anybody. They have some disgusting crap out there and major lies. What we need people to do is if they steal other people's content, like they did with Miss Misa and queer kid stuff, to claim that they support pedophilia, we need people to monitor their videos and find any stolen content and see if they recognize who the content's from and let that person know so they can file a copyright claim on them and, and attempt to get their channels shut down because the stuff they're putting out is extremely dangerous. I've been dealing with these sick individuals for over six months. A lot of other people joined the fight and these pedophiles have targeted them severely. They've made th death threats and other threats and they're not above the hate. They have no problem attacking you. So be careful when you do this. I would do this but I'm doing so much other crap to watch them I'm spreading myself way too thin. So if, if you're at least willing to mirror this video that's great. If you're willing to create fake accounts and sub to these people that's even better. But we need to put an end to this crap. I'm tired of playing with these pedophiles. It's time to get serious. They've crossed the fucking line. And it's time we let them know there's a hell of a lot more than us than there are of them. That's it for now. <laughs> they convince their victim it's their fault. They brainwash them into thinking they want something they do not understand. They use mental abuse to keep their victims in line. They don't speak up because they're convinced nobody will believe them. We need to be a voice for these children. We can't let hard progress destroy their lives. They turn to self-harming and acting out. Because of monsters disguised as a friend or family member that they were supposed to be able to trust. Have decided to call their sick, perverse, disgusting behavior love. We have to take a stand. We have to say no more. Here we are going to discuss the ignorance and stupidity of James Carter also known as Ernest Steiner and the attack on my brother because Ernest is a little bitch so let's do this don't pay the ultimate price for the, don't pay the ultimate price for the desire of being a hero oh you're a fucking idiot my brother's intentions were not to be a hero it was to stop a couple killers from taking more innocent lives kinda of like what you want to do to children the cost of unneeded bravery and more often than not only lead to more unneeded deaths. A completely random yet extremely sad example is that of Joseph R. Wilcox. He was a bystander at Walmart in Las Vegas, Nevada on June 8, 2014 when two armed murderers 
stormed in proclaiming a revolution. They had already shot and killed two police officers at CeCe's Pizza who were on lunch and then moved their violent rampage to Walmart to stock up on more ammunition and firearms. Upon entering, Jared Miller, the male gunman, shot once in the air telling everyone that this was the beginning of a revolution. Joseph R. Wilcox saw him shoot and instead of letting the SWAT team who was already outside take care of the extremely dangerous situation, he wanted to be a hero. Hey dumbass, SWAT was not outside yet. They weren't even aware of what was going on inside Walmart. Stop talking out of your ass. Joseph had a permit to carry a concealed weapon and decided to use it. As the inexperienced and impulsive, and here we go again with even more bullshit lies. Seriously, what drugs are you on? Joseph approached a male gunman. Witnesses reported that he was shaking and sweating profusely as he was about to confront him, he saw the wife, Amanda Miller, approach him from behind from the corner of his eyes and attempt to flee when he was fatally shot in the back while running away. Oh god, you're a fucking idiot. You have no idea the lies you're spitting out. There was no attempt to flee, no seeing Amanda out of the corner of his eye. While he was looking around the aisle, she came up behind him like a coward and shot him in the back and killed him. By the way, dumbass, there were no witnesses that said anything about shaking and sweating profusely. So again, you're full of fucking shit, mainly because that didn't actually happen. Joseph, who grew up in a trailer house, always wanted to be thought of as more than mere trailer trash, as school bullies would often call him. Again, your entire thing is utter and complete bullshit, especially considering the years that we went to school, we lived in actual houses, not trailers or mobile homes. There was never any bullies, especially not idiots who verbally attacked calling anybody trailer trash. This is why James Carter, also known as Ernest Steiner, is a fucking joke, just like his pedophile movement. So let's see what other bullshit you spewed that can be easily destroyed. He was unemployed for many years before his untimely death. Some have suggested, some have suggested that he was looking to receive a reward for his attempted heroism, while others have said he was fascinated with Robocop as a child and wanted to serve and protect his community just like Alex Murphy did in the movies. His favorite line from Robocop was, Dead or alive, you're coming with me. Oh my fucking god. Are you out of your mind? Really? Robocop? Out of all the bullshit thoughts that go through your head, somehow you actually thought this was okay to type. Pedophiles are fucking stupid. Unfortunately for Joseph, he didn't even have the chance to say his favorite line to the gunman before he himself was fatally shot. But unlike Alex Murphy, he wasn't transformed into a cybernetic police officer. Instead, he just slowly died as tears of regret ran down his face. Um, actually, he was shot in the back by a coward and was killed instantly. But because of all the drugs you're obviously on, your brain is incapable of the truth. So please, let Joseph's tragic passing be a lesson to all of you that have permits to carry open or concealed firearms. Do not throw away your life trying to be a hero. There are highly trained professionals who get paid to deal with armed and dangerous people. So if you see a crime in progress, do the smart thing and seek shelter. Then call 911. Don't leave your loved ones behind to wonder why you wanted to risk your life by playing a hero. Playing a hero? I'm curious, does being this stupid hurt you? And don't worry, nobody will ever risk their life playing a hero when your life is in danger because nobody cares about a sick fuck such as yourself. Somebody who goes after a person's dead family members because you're a disgusting monster. I'm going to make sure the world knows. Worry about your own safety and stay alive to be with your family for many more years to come. And James, here's a video, bit of audio that destroys your whole SWAT team bullshit. That's uh, actually Amanda Miller shooting and killing Joseph Wilcox. And is that her arm extended with her handgun in her hand? Yes. And at this point, dispatch is uh, only referencing what had happened uh, north of Walmart at CC's. Is that correct? That's correct. There's been no mention of uh, Walmart yet. And uh, Jared Amanda Miller had been in that uh, Walmart for approximately 30 seconds? At this time, yes. By the way, since you fetish and fantasize about my firearms, this is the Glock 19. It belonged to my now dead brother, the one you embarrassed yourself trying to mock. So in other words, also I feel I should mention because of this story you decided to completely fabricate, 
I've been told by plenty of people I could probably bring legal action against you. So think about that while you're pissing yourself. One other thing, James. Do the, do the world a favor. Go fuck yourself. Despite dealing with monsters for the last six months and the um, issues I've dealt with that some people know about, some do not. You know the saying, there's always somebody worse off. There's, a, there's little I can do about my problems but talk them out and I've pushed that limit. So I've decided what I can do is help a friend. Her online identity is Tranime Girl. She's become a close friend somebody I highly respect and trust. Life is kind of kicking her down and it's time we helped her kick back. She's in danger of becoming homeless. I take major fucking issue with that. So a mutual friend started a GoFundMe for her. I tweeted this out, got many retweets, but unfortunately, unfortunately it hasn't helped too much. So I'm asking, if not begging, for you to share this video and her link to see if we can make her life better for her. She is trans, she has her own personal views on the subject. You don't have to like what she says or even agree with her, but if you can't separate the creator from the human being, that's, I'm sorry, but that's petty. So whatever you can spare or share on whatever social media you have an account on, I ask this of you, share this link. Let's keep a roof over this girl's head or else I can't annoy her. I put this on the end of the video so it would be fresh in your minds. No matter what, we can all agree on one thing. Nobody should be forced to be homeless. Let's make sure this doesn't happen to her. You know what, James? I seriously I hope, hope you, you die, die in a fire. fire. Why don't you go fuck yourself, dickhead?